Here we show how to determine the resultant of several coplanar forces using vector notation. In this instance, we shall consider just three forces, but the method is applicable to any number of forces. Firstly, each force is resolved into its x and y components. F1x and F1y, F2x and F2y, and F3x and F3y. Using vector notation, the three forces are written as F1 is equal to F1xi plus F1yj. F2 is equal to minus F2xi plus F2yj. And F3 is equal to F3xi minus F3yj. Notice that the x component of F2 is negative because it is directed along the negative x-axis and the y component of F3 is also negative because it is directed along the negative y-axis. Next, all the magnitudes of all the x components are added together to give the magnitude of the x component of the resultant force. The magnitude of FRx is equal to F1x minus F2x plus F3x. Or the vector equation is FRx is equal to F1x minus F2x plus F3xi. Then all the magnitudes of all the y components are added together to give the magnitude of the y component of the resultant force. The magnitude of FRY is equal to F1Y plus F2Y minus F3Y. Or the vector equation is FRY is equal to F1Y plus F2Y minus F3YJ. Having determined the magnitudes and directions of the X and Y components of the resultant force, and note that these can be positive or negative, we can use the parallelogram rule to obtain the resultant force. So the resultant force FR is equal to F1x minus F2x plus F3xi plus F1y plus F2y minus F3yj. FR is equal to FRxi plus FRyj. The magnitude of FR is given by the square root of frx squared plus fry squared. And the direction anticlockwise with respect to the positive x-axis is given by theta is tan to the minus 1 of fry divided by frx.